Millboard should always be stored on a flat surface or level bearers, a maximum of 400mm apart and stacked face to face, not back to face. Be careful not to drag the boards off the pallet or over each other, as this could cause abrasion or marking on the surface. Millboard has been designed to replicate the natural variances of timber and is manufactured to have tonal variants in the colour. It is best to lay boards out a day before installation to ensure tone and grain variation is accounted for and also to help the boards adjust to the climate of the project location. If there are any foreseen issues with the boards, this should be highlighted with Millboard before installation. Millboard is a hand moulded product, therefore slight variances in the board dimensions should be expected. Tolerances we deem as acceptable are a length of plus or minus 5mm, a width of plus or minus 3mm at the top and a thickness of plus or minus 2mm in the middle. We recommend that boards are laid to a slight fall away from the building to aid drainage. Joist spacing of 400mm centres is recommended for normal residential use. On commercial use, we recommend 300mm centres. A minimum of three joists is required for any cut boards. Millboard decking and edging products can be cut with standard wood cutting tools. We recommend a carbon tipped saw blade. When cutting the boards, wear an FFP3 dust mask, safety glasses, long sleeves and protective gloves. Millboard Durafix stainless steel fixings mean that there's no need to pre-drill or countersink, you can just screw straight in. We advise using a standard driver with the bit provided and not an impact driver to fix the Durafix screws to the decking as this can break the drive bit and screw head, as well as impede the board from being fixed directly against the subframe. The Durafix 45mm screws should be used when using the Joespan framework. For best results, coat the fixings in silicon spray before use. When screwing in, push firmly on the screw whilst applying pressure to the board finishing the screw head 5mm below the last stain surface. This should leave a minimal witness mark. Failure to use our Durafix fixings with the bit provided, or not fitting according to these guidelines, may invalidate the warranty and affect the overall look of the deck. Two fixings per board should be used where the board crosses a joist. We advise to use three at the ends of the boards. The fixings at the end of the boards should be fixed at a slight angle, positioning the screws 20 to 25mm from the ends and 20mm minimum from the sides of the boards. Board ends should be supported by a minimum of 20mm. As the boards are manufactured through a moulding process, we recommend that all ends are squared off with a slight back cut of around 2 to 3 degrees before they are installed. We recommend a 4mm space between the sides of boards and a 1mm gap at the ends on butt joints. A 10mm gap should be left between the boards and any solid surface to facilitate drainage. Start installing the first row of boards to a string line, fixing the boards at one end, then a fixing in the middle, adjusting spacing as necessary with the millboard multi spacers. Then fix to the remaining joists. We recommend checking the boards against the string line every 4th to 5th row. As there may be slight variation in width, length and thickness, packers can be used to create a flat finish between two boards. Therefore, it is best for screws to be left at butt joints until both boards are together. We recommend that our purpose made edgings are fitted to all steps and perimeters of the deck. If the edging profiles aren't being used, any visible cuts need to be coated with millboard touch-up coating. When mitering the edging or fascia profiles for a corner, 
it is best to cut the mitre from the centre of the board to account for natural variance in grain and sizing. When gluing the mitered edges together, we recommend using PU wood glue for the core and a super glue for the last stain. When two edging or fascia lengths come together along the deck, these should be put together on a 20 degree angle back cut so that one piece slides over the top of the other. These angles should be painted with touch up coating before being fixed to the framework and should not be glued together. If using the 50mm wide edgings, ensure they are supported on a joist by a minimum of 25mm. The flexible ball nose and standard fascias will bend to a radius of 1.2m. These profiles need to be at least room temperature or 20 degrees Celsius to bend to this radius. When fixing the flexible edging and fascia, start from the end with a double fixing point and work along fixing at 200 to 300 mm intervals as you go. Some fixing holes may be partially visible. All edging and fascia profiles need to be fully supported along their length and fixed at 300 mm centers. If the board surface becomes dirty during installation, this should be cleaned as soon as possible using warm soapy water and a brush. Clean your decking when required to remove leaves and general dirt particles. Cover the boards from any surrounding building works or painting that could mark the surface of the boards. Stubborn marks may be removed with a range of different cleaners depending on the mark. 